Hey guys and girls, Bassmaster Opens Pro, Hugh Coscoyola here. I'm sitting in the boat right now, getting ready to leave for the first tournament of the year at Lake Ufala, Alabama, and I'm thinking about my goals for the year, what I want to get out of this year. Kind of thinking about to last year, what I did poorly, what I did well, and I'm really trying to look forward and figure out what I can do to get better, qualify for the Elite Series, win a tournament, and go to the Bassmaster Classic. So I'm going to be kind of going over a couple things from practice, uh, to some of the things I do wrong during practice before I get there, during the tournament even. I guess my first goal, qualify for the Elite Series. Do well enough to be one of the top nine uh, in AOI at the end of the year for the Bassmaster Opens. Qualify for the Elite Series. In addition to winning an Open or two uh, to qualify for the Bassmaster Classic, that's going to be the true goal. First, starting off with this. I'm going to try to record a lot more this year. It's been really, really tough for me. Uh, doing a lot of different things for QC fishing, me personally, other things going on. So this year I'm going to really try to focus, record. Might wear a chesty during the tournament, so I'm going to have my 360 camera recording me. Maybe a travel vlog or two. Figure out what it's like for you guys. What it takes, uh, how, it, how it really goes trying to become a professional angler. Right now I'm an amateur professional angler. Don't do it full time for a living. I do a bunch of other stuff, but this is just kind of what it's like. Hopefully you'll be able to see it, uh, this journey this year, 2023 Bassmaster Opens. To try to hold myself accountable, I'm gonna come back and look at this video at the end of the year, see if I really did uh, what I set out to do. One of the first things that I, I know I really, really struggle with and one of my biggest goals for the year is to ignore other people. I'm really bad about dock talk. I'm really bad about people calling me during practice, say, what's going on, man? Are you catching them? Are you not catching them? It really gets into my head because I know that whatever I'm doing is right for myself. I'm a much different fisherman than everybody else. I, I tell a lot of my clients on trips that I take, just because what I'm saying is I think is what's right, it's not always right for them. Everybody can fish differently, everybody will fish differently. I've been given exact GPS coordinates for spots from other people, from my friends. They say I caught them here and I go there, it looks like the worst spot I've ever seen. I've had plenty of times where I've gone down the bank right behind people and caught fish right behind them. So everybody's gonna be a little bit different of a fisherman. That's one thing I know I really struggle with is listening to other people. So to try to counteract that, I'm in a room with one guy this year, maybe two, uh, and I'm not gonna, I'm gonna turn my phone off, put it in the, put it in the compartment, not gonna listen to it at all. Uh, and really just kind of focus, like I have horse blinders on, focus on what I'm doing, uh, which kind of brings me to my next thing is try to be a little bit better at practicing. Practice, I'm going 100 miles an hour. I'm trying to cover the whole river, lake system, wherever I am, I always feel like there's something I see about a certain creek, about a certain end of the lake, a certain pool of the river, where I really like what's going on. Uh, what I really want to find during my practices is the biggest population of fish. Luckily this year we have a, a shorter practice period. Uh, practice starts Saturday and ends Wednesday for our tournaments. That's Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Once you kind of get there, what was going on before is you kind of get in an area and you, you're catching them the first couple days of practice. Fishing's easy. And as kind of the tournament comes around, fishing gets tough. It's tough to catch five fish. I'm struggling to catch a limit sometimes in these tournaments. So what I really want to do during practice is usually try to figure out where the biggest population of fish is that either can handle the pressure or won't have as much pressure as maybe other areas. And that's where I'm going to end up fishing. The size is definitely going to matter, but for me, I always try to want to figure out the best population of fish. What I struggle with for my practicing is I feel like I get way too locked onto something. I'm going to cover a lot of water, figure out kind of what I like to see, whether it's the right grass in the right depth, trees, bushes, whatever I want to fish, and I get too locked onto that. And I start to just only go look for that instead of being really open, uh, trying to be figure out what to do in all conditions in an area. One thing that's always interesting to me uh, is kind of seeing how people practice and how they do up and end up in the tournaments. This past year I roomed with Cole Sands for half the year, now Elite Series. It was interesting to see because we would end up inadvertently practicing in the same areas and then fished in the same areas in the tournament. What he practiced, I've never seen somebody fish this slow in my life. He can do it, it works for him, it doesn't work for me. He would fish so slow during practice to really figure out one area. He knew where there was some population of fish and he really wanted to figure out every single sweet spot that he could go during the tournament and catch fish. So I kind of maybe have to refine the way I practice a little bit. I like kind of going a little bit quicker. 
because I feel like if I, I can get bit going really fast, I know I can come back and slow down and really start to catch a little bit more fish. Another one of my goals for this year is during the tournament itself. Uh, I feel like I have very bad decision making at the end of the day. Uh, whether that's timing the run back in, timing the locks. I just feel like I'm such, I'm so scared of being late that I end up making myself leave too early and I end up missing a couple bites. One, one example is at the Red River, I missed time to the lock going back. I, went, I tried going back a little too early and I missed it by a couple minutes uh, and had to wait around and just had to fish right below the lock for a while and I pretty much wasted 30, 30 45 minutes of time that I could have could have spent in my area and I had to leave my good area. I'd caught like a five pounder or something like that at the Red River, which is an absolute giant. I had to leave. Like I caught it my last cast and I was so worried about making it back that I pushed it too long. Uh, so I feel like I make really, really bad decisions about timing at the end of the day. That's one thing I definitely have to work on. Another thing during tournaments is that I'm bad with kind of spot management. Sometimes I have such good practices. That was my biggest concern this past year is I had really, really good practices. I thought I was on fish to win. And I got so wrapped up in the conditions that I had in practice that I wasn't able to see what was going on. Example, at Ross Barnett. I was catching fish at the mouth of the river. I was in the lake, but the mouth of the river. And these are still current related fish. They're set up on certain things. Oh, the Wednesday night, the day before the tournament, they decided to close the lock, the close the dams, the overflow, and it killed the current. Dropped the lake a little bit, uh, and it really, really screwed my fish up. There were still fish there, but they became a lot smaller, not what I was catching in practice. And I was too stubborn and too stupid to realize what was going on, that the water had changed just an inch or two, and that there wasn't as much current as there should have been. And I, I stuck with it, and it really, really costed me. I should have adjusted a little bit earlier. Ended up moving into the river at the end of the second day and started catching some fish again. But that was one thing I really need to make, I need to make a better decision about. So my goal, another goal for my tournaments is making better decisions about the current conditions. I've noticed that in some of my best tournaments ever, pretty much all my really good tournaments, I will just go fish whatever conditions are that day and kind of forget what went on during practice, but I'll do whatever I think I need to do that day. Pretend it's just a new day on the water. I know some spots from practice and I'll just go kind of fish whatever spot would line up. Even if it wasn't a good spot in practice, I'll still go fish it. So that was just a couple of my goals besides the obvious. Um, I think if you want to qualify for the Elite Series, you're going to need like a 45th place average finish in each open, just outside of a check, in order to qualify, um, besides winning one. But a couple of my goals, like I said, I'm going to come back to this video at the end of the year, see if I did it, is record tournaments, record myself doing other things, be a, bit, be a better practicer, whether that means being a little bit more efficient with my areas, uh, getting too locked in on one thing. Uh, maybe having a slowdown, I don't know. I'm going to have to kind of experiment experiment with that a little bit. Biggest thing for me, I think, is ignoring other people. Turning my phone off, rooming with just one person, uh, not talking to anybody on the water, avoiding doc talk. That's going to be a really, really big one for me. Another one was making better decisions just all around, whether that's spot management, uh, time management, and then being able to kind of forget practice. That's what I used to do really well. Make better decisions about the weather, the time of the day, uh, what way the wind's coming from, just kind of those things. So those are just a couple of my goals, like I said. If you guys have goals, I think it's really important to kind of realize what you do poorly and what you do uh, really well. And I think those are a couple of things I do poorly that I really, really need to work on if I want to make it as a professional angler on the Elite Series or even continue in the Opens. But I hope you guys like this video. It's something that uh, I think about all, all the time, especially when I'm driving. I have a lot of time. Hopefully I can work on these things and hopefully at the end of the year we'll be an elite series angler and we'll come back and hopefully these goals really worked out for us. But I want to say thanks for watching. If you guys have any different goals for your fishing season, your tournaments, or even just fun fishing, be sure to comment them below. Uh, maybe I can kind of apply them to uh, my season as well. But thanks for watching, guys.